I'm Aaron Fawn, and I'm on a trip for life in the rain on slippery rocks. I believe our future depends powerfully on how well we understand this cosmos in which we float like a boat of dust in the morning sky. Happiness. Since ancient times, philosophers have been tearing their hair out just trying to figure out what it is. But in our modern world, we've made an industry out of trying to create happiness. Perhaps we created artificially with drugs. Perhaps we created naturally with a vacation. Perhaps we go and seek out a new life in pursuit of it. Heck, even our Declaration of Independence set out as one of our basic liberties, the pursuit of happiness. And yet, in this day and age, we're not a very happy people. We find ourselves with a higher incidence of mental illness than most other Western countries, and in general, we're not very happy. Happiness is actually much more about the environment that we're in than anything we might choose to do. Because you see, when you spend time in the sun, particularly in warm weather, you have a burst of serotonin in your brain, and this results in a warm, happy feeling. Unsurprisingly, most of the states that are rated very highly for happiness are warm weather states. But it can't just be that, because there are exceptions, and one of the most important exceptions is the state of Maine. Most of the time when you think about Maine, you think about things like lighthouses and clam bakes, lobster rolls, and beautiful national parks. But there's something interesting about Maine. Despite the terrible weather, and despite the economy, Maine is consistently one of the happiest places in the nation. This is about typical of a Maine spring. It's cold, it's wet, it's unpleasant. I certainly wouldn't be happy to live here. I guess there must be something going on. When you think about things that make you happy, you think about good economic times, you think about having warm weather and other things like this, but Maine doesn't have any of those things, and yet it remains very happy. As a scientist, this has always made me kind of curious. Every time I see one of those surveys, I end up scratching my head, why is Maine there? So I've come here to Maine, try and figure out why exactly they're so happy. I think this calls for some Vox Populi interviews, don't you? Having traveled across Canada, I found myself in central Maine, which is ideal because it put me near the city of Bangor. Bangor is a lovely town and is considered by many to be the cultural capital of Maine. Seeking out a good crowd, I found myself at Bagel Central, which is, generally speaking, a good place to find a crowd any time that people want to eat. Do you like living in Maine? I love it. Oh, what do you like about Maine? Um, everything. Everything? I, I guess. <laughs> uh, tell me, what, what is it? Well, last night I just went fishing and I caught a big brook trout. Awesome. Yeah. You can just do like anything, pretty much. So you just like being in the outdoors, you like yeah. how wild everything is? I like living in Maine because like, um, it has the best of all the seasons. Like, all the seasons are extreme. The summer is really hot and the winter is really cold. It's nice, yeah. So you have, yeah. You go swimming in the summer and then you go yeah. skiing in the winter. Exactly. It's not bad. It's not. Winter is cool for like a month and then I get really bored of it. I'm so sick and tired of it. So what is it about Maine that makes you happy? Uh, it's laid back, it's not fast paced, um, and you can get just about anything here um, that you can get in another state. Um, it's pretty, pretty diverse, great crowd of people, uh, people are friendly. Um, I've certainly noticed that. You can say hi to anyone and they'll say hi back, usually. Um, it's walking down the street here in downtown, for example. You say hi to anyone and you're going to get a smile. Um, you know, how are you doing today? Um, places like the bagel shop here, it's just a great place to go. Come read the paper, kick back. I'm actually avoiding the rain right now, so that's why I'm into reading the paper. <laughs> and indeed, there was a great deal of weather to hide from. Luckily, there were still people worth interviewing in Bagel Central. This character here is one of my dear old friends. How many years now, Bob, since I've seen him? Oh, since we last saw Yeah. <clears throat> Ten. Three, four, four, five, five, ten. Yeah. We don't. We're old timers to this business, the bagel shop. Mm -hmm. We both knew Zadet when we opened it. Bob and I have been meeting from time to time to discuss politics, his art. He's a real famous artist here in Maine. Uh, oh, yeah. And he used to have all of his paintings all around the, the bagel. I'm having an exhibit in December. Are you really? With, with Scott. 
Oh, with my Scott. son. Yeah. <clears throat> my son's doing. He does photography, so he's going. He's taking photographs of birds and wild birds, and then I'm going to do my artistic interpretation of his photographs. I'm going to have a show in December. Awesome. I'll be back. No, that's that. a reason to be happy. I mean, <laughs> I'm doing a show with my son. But I, I'm so pleased. I mean, I called Bryson out of the blue about four days ago. And I says, how can we get together? And he, he didn't know right away. And then he called me back and he says, I'm going to be in Bangor. I got to see my doctor. And I says, well, I'll meet you there. When are you going to be there? So it's a real happy occasion when the two of us can kibbutz again. And uh, well, maybe years before we actually see each other yeah. again. <laughs> That's the way it goes. But, Just like Zeb. I mean, I see him once every five or six years. Yeah. And these are two of my best friends. Oh. Though it seemed a lot of people did like living in Maine, opinions were hardly unanimous. What, what is it that makes you happy to live in Maine? I don't like living in Maine, <laughs> so I'm not one of those people. Having had my fill of bagels, I made my way down the street to Giacomo's, which had an excellent cup of joe for a reasonable price, and some very interesting artwork. What is it about Maine that makes you happy to live here? Um, okay, the four seasons make me happy because um, with winter I can always anticipate summer coming around and with moderation of seasons, maybe it keeps one on their toes, I don't know. Uh, lack of traffic, I've tried to drive around Boston uh, and that is absolutely horrific and I get angry really quick. So uh, maybe lack of traffic, I don't know. It's laid back, it's a slower pace of life I guess. There was actually a bit of history behind the artwork. There was a famous shootout during the Prohibition era, right across the street from the cafe. The crowd at Giacomo's might have been smaller, but it was no less opinionated. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I definitely do not think of Maine as a happy state. I have to say that. I do not think that the people here are happy. I think they may, when asked, um, I think that most of the people who live here are aware of the fact that they are probably, um, they're, they probably have a, more security. They probably are safer. There's less crime. You know, Bangor is like the ninth safest city in the country to live in. Um, you know, kids can ride their bikes to their friends' homes. I mean, there's a style I was of noticing life that, yeah. that's very much like it was like in the 50s. You know, I mean, there's it's still possible to live, you know, with your door unlocked and that kind of thing. I think that's what people cherish. I, I don't find them to be particularly um, warm and friendly. I think they're very close to their families. I think most of the socializing that goes on goes on in the family. And I think they probably do have a pretty good time, you know. Um, they're tough. Maine people are tough. So their happiness probably looks different maybe than I'm used to, you know. Because um, I didn't grow up with that rugged, Yankee, individualistic kind of thing going on, you know. Um, so they're, they're, you know, when we had the ice storm in 1998, the entire state was basically shut down for days, if not weeks, and there was no crime, you know, and people were uh, using the radio, the Voice of Maine radio, which is the Rush Limbaugh right wing radio station, because public radio was like iced in and they couldn't get the tower. <laughs> they were using this radio as a means of communicating to people, you know, so like little old ladies were calling and saying that their roofs were leaking and this was their address, and they were giving like their phone numbers and their addresses out to the radio, you know, to the uh, you know, general listening public, and people were showing up, you know, and taking care of each other. So, so, so that balance between individualism and cooperation is. There's a strong sense of security. There's a strong sense of we know how to take care of ourselves. You know, we are not in. You know, the rest of the world is like falling apart and is really crazy, and it is. I mean, yeah. the, Maine is one of the only places where, you, you know, you really don't have to think about a lot about what you wear. You know, I treasure that. I treasure that people don't have to do a lot of external posturing, you know, to like be on a certain lad rung of the social ladder. You know, you just don't have to do that here. You can, if you know, people tend to judge people by how hard they work and how honest they are. It's wonderful. And if you work hard and you're honest, you know, you'll be accepted. You may not be make a lot of friends with native Mainers, you know, they're kind of busy with their family thing. 
but you can make friends with other from the wayers. Lots of them. There's lots of us. <laughs> and um, and you will, you know, you you will, you you know that if things get, you know, if something really terrible, if a tree falls on your house, you know, they'll be they will be there. They will be there to take you in and get you food and get you clothing. And, you know, and it's just that's a very traditional kind of uh, community. Attribute that they've come onto from you know, the 19th century. Walking around the city of Bangor under clear skies, I was struck by how beautiful this city is. I'll probably return to the subject for a later city review. I was also struck by how opinionated everyone was. Yeah, the women are beautiful, and uh, they talk funny outside their mouth. You know? <laughs> it's a nice place. Indeed, it is a nice place. Bangor, despite the fact that it doesn't have a very large population, only 30,000 people, boasts one of the best public libraries in the nation with over 500,000 volumes, and this in addition to a large amount of very beautiful artwork. Indeed, in some ways, the entire building is a work of art. I found someone else here, a librarian, with some opinions to share. Why is, is Maine so happy? Well, for one thing, we all in a sense, have chosen to be here. I mean, we could be, you know, we could be other places. People genuinely are slightly more in control of government, of everything, because we still have town meeting structure, and you, um, so we're well governed, and we send the kind of people, and we send, we send superb. No matter what party, we send wonderful people to Washington because they know they can do their conscience. If a Democrat does a really, really good job, you know, they'll get Republican votes and vice versa. And so therefore you're not constantly under the black cloud. It seems like the weather's out of control. We deal with it. The winter of 61, 62, there was 28 inches of snow followed within 18 hours by 31 inches of snow. Oh my. And things were closed down briefly, but by the second day, everything was open. You know, I mean, the, you know, we pay, you, know, you hear people gripe about taxes, but we pay for snow removal, and we're good at snow removal, and our snow trucks don't get snowed in <laughs> to the you know, trail. So what looks like an, a real barrier, it just isn't. Having spent a few days in Bangor, I moved on to Acadia National Park on Mount Desert Island, which was an opportunity to visit an old friend. It's been so long since I've seen the ocean. Decades, it seems. Oh, it has been about 15 years. It's nice to see infinity again. So join me next time on this special YouTube edition of The Trip for Life as I explore Mount Desert Island and interview its inhabitants. Except Bar Harbor. No one was there. Probably because it was preseason. Also, I will explain how sunlight gives you happy juice as we continue our tour of Maine on The Pursuit of Happiness, Part 2. The sky calls to us. If we do not destroy ourselves, we will one day venture to the stars.